Hello, hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay and I hope that by now you are in the festive spirit. We have got a lot to cover in this video. Um, if you haven't noticed yet, this video is going to be one of my first gift guides that I'm going to share with you all. So to kick off the season, I'm going to give you a little gift guide for her. I thought we'd kick off with teenagers. So these are some of my recommendations for what to get a teenager um, in kind of like a low budget situation. So my first recommendation for teenagers, and I know for a fact I actually put this on my Christmas list as a teenager, which now I'm thinking about it might have been a bit over the top, but who I am, um, is floppy socks. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I felt the need to actually put that on my Christmas list. Clearly I didn't have enough. Um, but you can't have enough fluffy socks. That's my genuine opinion. Um, and I love to get my fluffy socks from Primark. You are more than welcome to try somewhere else. Um, but this is my, my favourite ones to get. This pair in particular are kind of like thermal socks but you can really go for, they have like so many different types of like socks that you can get and you've got your general like really really fluffy ones I will say that they do shed so be prepared for that if that's what you're going for um, or they have kind of like ones that look a little bit more like natural like neutral tonal colours which are really cute and then they've got these sort of ones as well so I think you literally can just pick based on who you're shopping for but these were the favourite that I saw and um, so yeah they literally just have these really cute kind of like wintery patterns on them um, I think they're so sweet and if you don't know already I am a massive massive fan of kind of like fluffy socks and Uggs love it or hate it I love it and yeah I think they are just like the perfect example of one to pair with those the next thing that I was going to recommend would be kind of like any sort of books off of booktok and um, so if you're not on tiktok these are kind of like books that people on like the tiktok app are raving about and um yeah some are some I absolutely love, some I haven't got round to reading yet, I'm not the best at always remembering to read, um, but if you've got an avid reader, um, then this is definitely one of the ways to go. I am a huge fan of Jenny Han's books, um, one of the like series of her books has been turned into a TV series with Amazon Prime, um, which is The Summer I Turned Pretty, which I read in year seven. I can't believe now, like I finished uni and that's becoming a TV show. It actually melts my heart so much, but also makes me feel quite old. Um, but yeah, it's the cutest thing. And so she does that, that series, The Summer I Turned Pretty, but she also does To All The Boys I Loved Before. Her books are just so, so cute, wholesome, but also just so well written. Like they literally used to like make my heart do little flutters. It was just like the sweetest thing ever. Um, so I totally recommend those too, kind of like the teenager in your life. Another recommendation is actually a gift card. You really don't have to spend that much to get kind of like a really good gift card. Um, I think it's actually about getting creative. So I know when I was a teenager, one of the things I used to, to do was go to town and kind of like get a drink with my friends. Um, so I think actually just getting a gift card that's kind of like for one of those sort of places, so Costa, Starbucks, kind of wherever your teenager and their friends tend to go for kind of like, you know, the frappes and everything, that sort of thing. Um, I think they're great little gifts and um, they're so easy to kind of like to give, but actually they're really useful and they're actually gonna take the weight off of your teenager's shoulders when they do end up going out or whatnot. It's, um, it's like a little pick me up treat. Um, I know last year, I think it was my auntie, got me a Starbucks gift card and I'd had like the worst day 
and it just I saw it in my purse and I was like you know what yeah today's the day where I need that gifted Starbucks um, so these gifts although they seem so little can actually mean so much more in the moment and um, so I definitely recommend those too alongside coffee related gifts another recommendation for a teenager is actually just kind of like a really standard travel mug so i really don't think you need to actually splash out on the travel mug necessarily to get like a good one for a teenager so this is just a really like kind of basic one that i've got it is a radley one um but it's really really basic literally just a plastic travel mug i used to have one when i was even younger that's just had like little pugs all over it which like i absolutely loved i think it's a really easy one to get it's pretty cheap depending on where you go um, and you don't have to kind of spend a crazy amount alternatively if your teenager doesn't drink kind of hot drinks then you can kind of go for a water bottle um, I know Starbucks do some really lovely kind of like plastic cups for their cold drinks um, but you can also get kind of like the insulated water bottles as well which are really nice this would not be gift guide for teenagers if I did not mention body sprays. I feel like as a teenager it was such a big thing but also I don't think it ever really goes away. Body sprays will always be a really staple gift. The catch with body sprays I think especially when you're gifting them is knowing which ones to go for. So my recommendations if you're struggling to find a body spray is kind of brands like Hollister or if you have just a little bit extra to spend also check out Victoria's Secret and um, they had some really really nice scents actually. All of these are super sweet. If you're looking for something a little bit more grown up but still a body spray then I'd recommend Ted Baker because um, those ones are kind of have more floral tones rather than kind of like the fruity kind of really sweet tones that a lot of these other sprays have. So the final thing that I'm going to recommend as part of a low budget gift for your teenager is of course a lush bath bomb. Now going on the assumption that as a teenager like me when I was a teenager they're going to love sweet smells of course I had to recommend a snow fairy bath bomb. There are so many different types of snow fairy bath bombs to choose from um, so it's, it's hard to get it wrong to be honest the only thing you need to watch out for is whether you're buying a bath bomb or a bubble bar because um, the bubble bars they don't do kind of what you expect when you drop them in the bath like they don't do the whole fizzling they just create bubbles they're so lovely um, but if you're expecting a bath bomb you will be disappointed um, so do keep an eye out for that one this one that I've got oh, I need to be so careful with this now because I'm like sat on my sofa literally looks like a little star and then when you open the inside it's full of loads of little kind of like popping bits it's so so cute so kind of sweet smelling like it literally smells like the whole typical snow fairy smell and um, yeah this is kind of like the biggest bath bomb within that range but you can literally get kind of like a lot smaller ones that smell exactly the same so don't panic about that moving on let's have a look at kind of like a more medium to high budget one of the first things i was going to recommend is something that i've actually been gifted this year um which is one of these little guys um so it's one of the kind of jelly cat teddies that you can get i absolutely love them no nanny nanny loves them too she's trying to get over here don't do it i have to literally keep this hidden out of the way because nanny really really wants it you rip up your toys you can't have it you can't have it i just i absolutely love this little guy he's just so cute um he literally just makes it smell so much um but they have a kind of a whole kind of christmas collection um that you can kind of pick from but they also have kind of lots of more they also have lots of other collections as well so you've got a lot of different choices a lot of different sizes so caters for a lot of different budgets and um, but yeah i just think they're so cute this one doesn't show up too well on camera but they've got that little that little smile which i just think is adorable and all the items have that and um, so i absolutely 
love these and um, yeah, I think a teenager would too. Like alongside that item, other things that I was going to recommend would actually be kind of like a gift card to one of their favourite stores, but also actually having a think about which stores they can't necessarily always afford to shop at. Um, so for example, one of the shops that I always wanted to go to as a teenager but I couldn't really afford was Urban Outfitters. Um, so a gift card there I think would be quite on trend at the moment, um, but also be quite meaningful. Um, another gift that I think would be quite nice that I actually bought myself maybe like half a year ago was the like the ordinary skin starter set. Um, so that's really really good, especially kind of you know when they're getting into that stage of getting more knowledgeable about skincare. Um, and it definitely encourages them to get their makeup off in the evenings after a day full, um, which is so important. Like I can't stress enough how important that is. Um, so that's a great one to get. But they have also brought out a Christmas gift set at Boots, uh, which I think is called like Merry and Bright. Um, but so I will link all of this down below anyway though, so if in doubt just follow the link below and you'll be able to find the right one. Other things to get that are kind of like a kind of like a, a catch-all items are if you haven't seen them before, we've got like fairy light curtains, so kind of like fairy lights, but they all kind of drop down like that, um, which look so so beautiful and yeah. I know teenage me would have loved those in my bedroom, so if you've got the budget for that, 100% definitely get some of those. You can get them on Amazon, super super easy, and yeah, just a really nice one, a really wholesome gift. Finally then, if you're struggling and your teenager is into makeup, um, that's a super super easy thing to go for. What I'd recommend is actually getting some makeup brushes. Um, if you're not certain, then just kind of getting a full set is the easiest. Um, but usually the sets will be broken down into kind of eye makeup or face makeup. Um, so just have a think about whether the teenager that you're shopping for is kind of going for a lot of heavy eye makeup or not much at all. And that'll give you an idea of which type of brush set, brush set to go for. The other thing you could do is actually go for an eyeshadow palette if they are into eyeshadow. Um, one of the perks of doing that is that actually you can't really get it wrong, if that makes sense. Um, kind of like the same way you can with foundation and other makeup items. Um, so going for kind of like a popular brand, Fenty, Kylie, um, Too Faced is really nice as well. There are there's so many. I know for me, my favourite eyeshadow palettes tend to be Morphe. So there's there's lots of different options there for you to kind of get what you think would suit your teenager and also suit your budget. The final things I would recommend then for a teenager, but also these ones can branch out into kind of like you know um, other women are kind of like yeah tracksuit sets like I've got on today. So literally just this one's a Puma one in plain white, and then I've got the matching bottoms as well. But you can literally, you can get this in any brand, you can get night ones, you can get them in loads of different colours. Um, but getting the matching set is a kind of really cute in thing to do at the moment, so I totally recommend doing that. Or, if you've got a little bit more budget, then getting a really nice little handbag. This is an example of one that I got. Um, it's a Kirk Geiger one, but I actually got it from TK Maxx. And um, yeah, it's just really, really kind of nice. I like to go for quite basic bags, mainly because I just see kind of going for a, a really plain one as a bit more of an investment. I can wear it with a lot of different items, um, but by all means, if your teenager is a little bit cooler, then yeah, go get yourself a really funky bag. So this next section is going to cover kind of like women in their 20s and 30s um, and kind of the sort of the gifts I would recommend. Starting with a low budget, some of the gifts that I recommended for teenagers still kind of apply. Um, so for example, bath bombs. You can absolutely get a bath bomb. What I would recommend though is maybe moving away from Snow Fairy um, and something that's kind of a bit more spicy rather than sweet. This is one of my absolute favourite bath bombs um, that Lush bring out every Christmas. Um, and it's called turmeric latte. Yeah, literally it just looks like that. It's all golden, which just, in my opinion, is so nice when you are uh, like doing your face tan in a little golden bath. It's just so cute. Um, but it smells so good. 
it literally just smells like Christmas but in like a spiced way and I feel like the spices kind of set the scene for a really relaxing bath um, rather than yeah the snake fairy is very much uh, an experience within itself and um, whereas like the turmeric latte one is just a little bit more relaxing a little bit more wholesome likewise again you can absolutely gift a 20 30 year old a pair of fluffy socks as well so don't be afraid to do that i think fluffy socks are a catch-all um, and if you're concerned about kind of getting fluffy socks that are more age appropriate i just suggest kind of steering away from your typical really fluffy socks and going for the kind of more natural looking ones so the kind of more like woven ones rather than like overly fluffy like with the teenage and then getting a travel mug, you can also get a travel mug for 20 to 30 year old. Um, this is one of my favourites I got from Starbucks, they've just released some other styles as well. Um, and yeah, this one's insulated so it'll keep your drink hot for quite a while. Um, I went on a dog walk the other day and I put my hot coffee in here and by the time I got back from my dog walk it was still too hot to drink. So um, these do work so, so well. But yeah, these are super insulated. I think these travel mugs are a really great idea as well if kind of like your 20, 30 year old's working. Um, I absolutely love being able to take this into the office. Um, it's just a really, really useful, practical gift. Another kind of really easy gift would be just a really nice set of pyjamas. Um, and you can really make this suit kind of like any budget. You can get your pyjamas from Primark and go for quite a low budget. Um, I absolutely love the pyjamas in Moat Avenue. I think they're just such great quality. So along with pyjamas, one of the other things that I was thinking would be a really nice gift and something that I actually got gifted hmm, around this time last year um, and absolutely love. Still, it's been a whole year and I still love it, is a little kind of like bathroom robe. So this is literally just the kind of a shanties um, bathrobe, so it's kind of got this like waffle towel material to it. Um, it's got a cute little logo embroidered on the corner of it. There it is. Um, and it's just so cozy. There's something so nice about kind of getting out of your bath or shower and popping this on and just feeling all warm and fluffy. Um, but it also it does kind of make you feel like you're in a bit of a spa. Um, so I absolutely love that one. To go along with that, one of the things that I've treated myself to, I've got a little present for myself, is the new Filter by Molly May uh, gift set. So this is actually quite big. I hold it up like that. Um, I didn't get the largest set, I got the £40 set. One of the easier things to get is actually just uh, make yourself a little voucher for a date night, um, especially if the person's obviously your partner. That's a really cute, really easy gift um, to kind of make, especially if money is kind of like tight during like Christmas period. This is a great way to kind of spread that cost through the year and say, you know, you've got gift a date night voucher and we can actually go out later on in the year and it'll still be really special it'll still be that kind of christmas present um but you're actually paying for it later on so that's a really easy really helpful one to do moving up into a kind of slightly higher price range the next recommendation i've got is actually some elemis skincare um, so what I've got at the moment are just kind of like the free, almost like starter items. Um, they're kind of a great beginner set uh, in getting into kind of the Elemis range. One of the perks of Elemis, but also you've got to be careful because some people take this the wrong way. It is technically an anti-aging set. It's got a lot of collagen in it um, that helps kind of prevent any aging, which to me is a massive perk. I definitely believe that prevention is better than cure, so if we kind of get started on this early, it's maybe a little bit better. Um, but the Elemis stuff is definitely a treat as well, and hopefully if you do decide to gift someone the Elemis stuff, they'll realise how much you care about them. In terms of kind of the products I recommend, this first one is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Bar. 
This one's so nice. I'll show you the inside of it, but it's literally, it turns into like an oily rug. You can see where I've kind of worked my way in already. Um, and it's great to kind of just pop on the face in the morning and the evenings, take your makeup off, um, but also take off any of the pollution and stuff in the air if you're a city liver like me that's something that's really important to you so I absolutely love that one. You can then go over the top with the Elemis Soothing Apricot Toner. This one's actually kind of like for calming the skin. Yeah I think this one's great for in the winter periods um, when your face does need maybe a bit of help actually calming down from like the wind, rain and all that great British weather that we all enjoy so much. The final Elemis item that I was going to recommend is the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. My one's an SPF, uh, so it's got SPF 30 in it, which I absolutely love. SPF is so important if you're like me and you've got really fair skin anyway, it's great. Um, but everyone should be using SPF no matter your skin type. Um, and again, it really helps with preventing any aging, any kind of like radiation from the sun. Um, so I totally recommend that as well. So if you're thinking of going down the makeup route, um, for this age range, I would recommend some kind of slightly, slightly more grown up brands um, than potentially younger girls. So one of my absolute must items is the Dior Lip Oil. Um, that one is first of all a luxury item, it's so so nice um, and such a treat to have, um, but also it's just so good. It really is, um, it's totally worth the price. So if you're looking for a little gift, but maybe in a slightly higher end budget, absolutely go for that one. The other brand that I personally absolutely love is Bobbi Brown. Um, I just, I love all their items to be honest. Every time I use their items, I always feel like my skin's really glowy um, and they never really feel too thick and heavy on the skin. Um, so yeah, I totally recommend those. I think my, favourite one, my favourite item from Bobbi Brown would probably be the highlighter palette, um, so please, if you're going to get one item, get that one, it's incredible, the colours are insane, the way it applies is even better, um, and you don't have to stress too much on shades either, so it's a great one if you're not absolutely certain what shade you want to get someone, uh, it's just a little bit easier to shop for. Finally then, one of the most important items <laughs> that I wanted to share with you guys, um, that I've only brought this year, to be fair, I've only got them this year, is a pair of Uggs. How could I not write this list and not mention Uggs? Because I brought my pair of Uggs like a week, two weeks ago, I'm pretty sure. What would it have been? I think it was like two weeks ago, maybe three. Guys, I've worn them like almost every single day. They keep your feet so, so warm. They look so cute. Just please, 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 please. If you're stuck, you don't know what to get someone and they don't have a pair of Uggs, get them a pair of Uggs. They're just my absolute favorite item. Um, I've got the minis. They're just the cutest little things. Um, I'm just, I'm obsessed. I'm completely obsessed. Other recommendations then, Obviously you've got your basics, you could always go for a perfume. Prada's brought out a new perfume which is quite nice. Um, but if you're looking for something more floral, then definitely Marc Jacobs is a great option. Something more kind of like grown up could be perfect by Marc Jacobs. I wear that to work and absolutely love it. Or if you're looking for something a little bit more youthful, YSL's Black Opium is such a lovely scent. Um, but that's kind of more on the sweet side. Yeah, there's, there are so, so many options. The one other item I would recommend to you as well would be a watch. There's so many different places you can get a watch from, obviously. My favourite choice of brand would be Vivian Westwood. That's my favourite. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of options where you can go. Um, what I would say is just always make sure that you get a warranty along with it. One other brand that I swear by and I'd love to get this for Christmas is Lillian Rue. I'll link it down below but you might have seen in some of my other videos I often wear a little locket from Lillian Rue and that was something I got for Christmas a couple of years ago which I just I really love but I've also got a little S necklace as well. I have met their jewellery is so dainty and just really really sweet it's kind of quite understated. Um, but just really, really beautiful. So I'll link them down below for you as well. 
Okay, so the final part of my gift guide is kind of a combo between slightly older ladies meets people you really, really just don't know what to get. So again, we're going to start with the classic, fluffy socks. You can't go wrong with fluffy socks. Everyone absolutely loves them. Another item that I believe you just almost can't ever go wrong with is a scarf. This is one that I got from Fat Face. Super, super fluffy. Um, and yeah, I love the colours in this one. I actually brought a few of these because they were in the sale um, so that I kind of have basically some backup presents for people that I weren't sure about. Um, so I absolutely love this one. Um, and yeah, I brought this for £12, which is just crazy because it, the original price of this was £32.50. So make sure to do your shopping early, guys. You'll save a lot of money. Um, but also, scarves are such an easy, safer option if you don't know what to get someone. And again, Secret Santa, a scarf's a safe option. You really can't go wrong. Another item that I recommend kind of like maybe for moms or um, kind of, yeah, anyone that really needs to take some time out for themselves, along with kind of like the bath bombs, the books, the skincare, I got one of these, um, which is kind of like a calming puzzle. Um, so it's, it's a puzzle, but you also get like a mini subscription to the Calm app. So while you're doing your puzzle, you get to listen to a specific type of music and you can meditate while you do the puzzle. So if you've got someone in your life who's into mindfulness or wants to get into mindfulness, then this is a great option. To end this video, I thought I would just give you a few honourable mentions of other items that you could get for someone um, if you're struggling. So one item that I thought would be really lovely for kind of like a gran or a nan that you've got in your life is actually a history of you book. Uh, you can get these online. I think you might be able to get them on Amazon, but I have also seen them kind of like not on the high street and Etsy. Um, and it's an opportunity kind of, it's almost like a diary where the book will ask you questions about your life. So it'll ask you about your childhood, different things like that. And you get to write that down. Um, and then you can share that with your children, grandchildren, that sort of thing. So you, if you've got a gran, you're struggling to work out what to get them, that is a really, really lovely item. Another item that you could get if your gran is into gardening is actually a little gardening apron. It has like kind of like lots of separate types of pockets to put different utensils in, which is a really good, really easy item. You could also make them a photo calendar. So if you go, I always order my photo calendars on Boots, but really there's loads of different places you could order them from. Um, but that's a really easy one to do. The only thing I'll say about making your own photo calendar is make sure you do it early um, because I did it one year and I literally had to pick it up on Christmas Eve and it was the most stressful thing because it almost didn't arrive. So um, yeah, make sure to order that way, way ahead of time because they're always oversubscribed and it's always a bit chaotic towards the end. If you're thinking of getting a perfume for kind of like a gran and nan or kind of maybe like a slightly more sophisticated lady, um, then kind of items you could go for, or brands you could go for is, first of all, Chanel, um, specifically Chanel number no. five, tends to be quite popular. We've also sold kind of a, a lot of the like, original Dior perfumes um, and that sort of thing. So there's a lot of different options for scents to kind of suit each person. And then I just wanted to finish this video off by also talking you through some potential really easy DIY gifts that you could give to someone in your life. One DIY gift could literally be just baking something for someone, some cookies, brownies, truffles. These are all such great gifts. Um, and you can actually batch make them. So if you've got a lot of people in your office and you wanna give gifts to everyone, I'd absolutely recommend just baking. And then you, kind of, you can even wrap them up individually, which I did one year, um, which actually was, I'd say quite successful. It worked quite well, but it was a lot of effort. I will say that. Um, but another option is just putting them in little mason jars or little like small little jars. Um, there's loads of different ways to do it, but it'll hopefully save you a little bit of money. It just will cost you a little bit of time. Other things that you could make is loose leaf tea, because that's just kind of like blending kind of like spices, tea leaves, and herbs. So that's 
easy to do, really, as long as you get the measurements right. Um, and it, again, it's, it's still quite heartfelt. And a way to make that kind of feel even more personal is kind of trying to link the ingredients to something about that person. Um, so you know, uh, there could be a little bit of like vanilla in there because they're such a, a sweet, lovely person, that sort of thing. Um, it just makes it feel a little bit more heartfelt, a little bit more personal. Another easy one, especially if you've got young people that you want to gift, is actually mason jars with some hot chocolate powder in. So you can put the hot chocolate powder in, put in some marshmallows, um, anything really that you'd want in your hot chocolate, and then all that person has to do is top it up with some hot milk, and they've got a lovely mason jar hot chocolate there ready to go. That's a great one for younger people, um, but really you can do it for the whole family, and it's a real nice treat. Fun Final thing then is if you're crafty, if you can knit, go ahead and knit something, a hat, scarf, all that sort of stuff. If you're into scrapbooking, I was once gifted like a scrapbook um, my mum made about my life and it was just the most beautiful present I have ever received. Um, so if you've got the time, the energy and the creativity to do that, I totally, totally recommend that because those are the sorts of presents that really just melt someone's heart and are just so, so special. So I. I it's such a good one to do if you've got the time. Finally, then you could also do some sewing if you know how to sew. Um, you can do some really basic items, a little pillow, some scrunchies, things like that. And another item, if you kind of don't feel as confident with kind of like crafts, is actually to go and buy a denim jacket and decorate it yourself to give to someone. So you can do this through sewing, but you can actually also do this just by painting the back with fabric paint. And I think kind of like that rough and ready look is really in at the moment so you really don't have to be that delicate with it or be that kind of like craft wise about it you can kind of just go ahead and like express that person on the jacket and yeah make something kind of quite special so there's loads of options okay guys well that brings us to the end of this video this is the first of two gift guides that i'm going to be doing um so we've obviously we've had the gift guide for her next i'm going to be doing the gift guide for him um which is going to also include lots of different items so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one and yeah please like this video also if you've got any of your own recommendations for gifts uh, for her please comment them down below alternatively if you're not sure what to get comment down below a description of the person and we can work out what to get them together I, I really want this to be like a community of sharing ideas and um, yeah just having a really really lovely Christmas